It could be recalled that nine dead row inmates were executed in 2012 on the D government of former President Yaya Jame. The move was followed by global condemnation. In his testimony before the TRRC, assassin Omar E. Jalo gave some explanation as to how the execution was carried out. Amadou Kante has more on that. In his second day before the TRRC, Omar E. Jalo admitted to his involvement in the execution of nine mile two inmates. Staff Sergeant Jalo, who is part of the former Yaya Jami junglers, said he was trained for arresting, torturing, and killing of people on the command of a patrol team. He recalled of an assignment in which his colleague Noah Baji informed him of an order from the former president Yaya Jame to carry out on the execution of the prisoners. Upon their arrival at the mile to prison, he said they went to the head of the prison's department, David Kujambi, where they met General Suleiman Baji, Usman Sonko, who was the interior minister at the time, and the then Minister of Justice, Babandin Jabate. He said the head of their operation, Noha Baji, and Captain Rambo led the discussions to take out the inmate from the prisons to the firing squad. They were put uh, inside the vehicles. We left mile two. And we headed towards Birkama. We went to the range. Lines couple proceed. Lines couple Bojan range. At the lines couple Bojan range. Uh, uh, we have to have that in Wolof. Lines mune lines couple lines lines couple Bojan range. Moi fan. The 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 range, the range. Is, is the place where the soldiers practice shooting okay range boko dege moy fi soldari de jange mbiri fetel fi ñew fetele fo fo la nje jange sol jangale soldari wow fofula yes that's the place what time did you arrive there do you recall ndax mu nga fetele ku ban waxtu ngeen ege fofu ah wax dege yalla bu munu ma fetele ku waxtu bi nak was it in the morning afternoon or night it was in the night mu ne ndax subala becek ndax ngon ndax gudi si gudi la won it was in the night and uh, tell us when you arrived at the range what happened when we got to the range all of us alighted we brought them down one of the other. each one that we brought down we took a plastic bag, those black types. And then we put it over your head. And then we will suffocate you until you die. Still on TRC, Jalo confessed to taking part in the killing of two Gambian Americans who were alleged to have planned to overthrow the government of former President Jame. The jungler, who has a long record of assassination experience, was also involved in the killing of Nur Cham, the alleged leader of the 2006 attempted coup d'etat. Amadou Kante has more. Former jungler Umar E. Jalo in continuation of his confession before the truth commission said that he was part of the hitmen who claimed the lives of two gambian americans in the names of mahmoud sise and ibu job the duo was alleged to be in the country to topple the government of former president yaya jame according to him two men were arrested and taken to kanilai because yaya jame requested to have personal meeting with them he said it was from that meeting with jame that he authorized their killing. Their bodies were caught into pity. When we got to Kanilai, our leaders, uh, who were the officers, our leaders, yes, Major Nua Baji, Major Nua Baji, Captain Momodu Jaju, Alias Rambo, Captain Momodu Jaju, Alias Rambo. Lieutenant Mustafa Asane. Lieutenant Mustafa Asane. Lieutenant Michael Corey. Uh, Michael Jata, sorry. Lieutenant Michael Jata. Nyoyobu Gai Sibir Kiriyaya Jame. They were the ones that took these two gentlemen into uh, Yaya Jame's house. And by 
by Gai, you mean the two captured Amer Gambian Americans, Mahmoud Sise and Ibu Job. Wow. So na Gai, my nyari Gambian Americans ingenti, Mahmoud Sise and Ibu Job. Wow. Yes. Proceed, please. Ibu Nyan Yobe. When they were taken, nekana nifa lumu diri dal ay si suma estimation dal fok na ay tati minis la ay fanuweri minit dal. When they were taken, in my own estimation, it took about almost 30 minutes. Nyugena agnyom. Then they came out with them. Nyune. They said, Nua baji takaw suin kanam. Nua baji stood in front of us. Mune yaya jame joke nandigal nenyu reilen dogat len ay dogit dogit. He said, yaya jame has given the order that they be killed and they should be chopped into pieces. In the same token, Jalo informed the commission of his role in the killing of the former CDS, Colonel Nduru Cham. Colonel Nduru Cham was alleged to have been mastermind of the March 2006 attempted overthrow of the government of Yaya Jame. And Nwabaji said, I ordered sort of Mansa, Mansa Buluko that he, he got an order from the president that who is Mansa who is Mansa in this case? Yaya Jame. Yaya Jame. Proceed. Konga Ndur Cham Sambangafa. That we should take Ndur Cham away and kill him. Walem Ndolab Dogo Dibi. That was our assignment for the day. Proceed, please. So, ngul, ngul wale nyama. so we got up uh, that way. Kono. We got into our vehicles. Ntata Tanje. We went to Tanje. Ni NIA uh, training school odo. At the NIA training school. At wadu Nduru Chambe Maborin Walto. Because at that time, that was where Nduru Cham was being kept. Nga dundi, nga dundi moto kono. We put him into a vehicle. He didn't pass an, an chairman. For in Tata, for a Namira itul Muruntale, Jedal, J. Philitamale. Pastor Nenin. He said the presidential order to eliminate the co plotter was communicated to the assassins by Nua Baji. Reporting for Africa News, I am Amadou Kante. Jungler Jalo continued his testimony with shocking revolutions today before the TRRC.